Hi guys, welcome to Scope Club. This will be a whole bunch of very short videos that I plan on doing as I'm playing with my uh, new scope here. And what you see on the screen is gibberish. Well, not really. <laughs> it, it looks like gibberish, but it's not. Um, and what it is, is the there is uh, two inputs that I'm using right now. And they're both driven by a resistor ladder over here there's two sets there's one set over here driving the blue which is the uh, second channel over there and then the there's this another set over here which drive the yellow which is the first channel over there and the uh, Arduino Nano over here is being powered just by a uh, phone adapter over there and so there's no PC involved drawing this the whole code is in the uh, Nano currently running. And what it is, is the Nano, ha I use six of the pins, six of the digital pins to create an analog value using this ladder. So whatever value digitally within those six pins will be converted to an analog value between zero and five. So there's one here for the X and there's one here for the Y. And if we change the mode from uh, YT over here which is Y is uh, up and down the voltage and the T is across but if we change that mode to XY <laughs> check that out uh, those of you who follow my channel will recognize this as my chord program which is basically five points or N points across, around a circle and we connect all the different possibility from every point to another and for to all the other points so this is different than uh, a lot of the uh, plotting that I've seen on analog uh, oscilloscopes because these are actually pixels they're not uh, vectors being drawn so I just basically put a bitmap on the nano here uh, it is only 64 by 64 and then uh, I draw the actual thing over there and then on the main loop of the Arduino, I scan through uh, row by row, column by column, and wherever there is a dot there that has been pre-computed, then I actually change the analog X and Y value to that particular spot. And then I go on to the next one where that has to be plotted and change these values to that spot. And by looping through them very quickly, it's not apparently quick enough. You could see kind of like that scan line. That ha actually happens in real life. It's not because of the camera. And the whole code is done in just basic Arduino. There is no port manipulation. And that explains, I think, why there's so much garbage there. Because, you know, well, I'm doing the digital right to every bit of the uh, six, six bits over here. You know, things happen. I mean, uh, <laughs> So it's not like instantly putting the value in there. So as the bits are being set one bit at a time, um, you could see that the value also jump all over the place. But I'm still pretty happy with what it turned out. It's like, it's just fooling around. It was a lot of fun. And I'll share the code if you guys want to play with it. Big thanks to Brian M, my friend who helped me uh, debug the, the pin here. Um, originally, I want to have uh, all 8 bits on uh, the X and all 8 bits on the Y. But it turned out that the analog pins on the Nano, I don't know if it's on the other Arduinos too. Uh, I'm using them as output, so I do a digital, uh, I do a pin mode on the analog pins, so they become output. But not all the analog uh, pins could be set as output. Only A0 through A5. And Brian um, figured it out, and that's uh, why I was like, I could not get A6 and A7 to work. But it's because those pins cannot become digital output pins. So, thanks Brian. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye.